Who doesn't like samurai swords? Pretty much everyone has eaten someone unsheathed their katana in some movie or show, fully ready to take on the enemy with honor. Or maybe you've even seen someone unsheath their sword in real life. I don't know. But of course, traditionally, unsheathing your katana is about discipline, technique, and strategy. But there are so many cool ways to do it that no one really knows about. So in this video, I'm going to show you and teach you three awesome ways to unsheath your sword. And as I always do, I'm going to emphasize on the rule of cool. Look, the point I'm trying to make is nobody is born cool, except of course. Spud Lee, you have to learn to be cool. What's up guys, it's your old Ninja Warrior Aegir and a Super Girl Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Our first unsheath is going to be one of my personal favorites. One that you may have even seen on this channel before, the Blade Pop. So let's break this down for a moment. The first thing you're going to want to do is pop the seal of your sword with your thumb so that it actually flies out of your sheath. Then you're going to use the momentum you use when you toss it at the same time using your opposite hand to reach straight out and grab the handle of your sword just like that and all together you have your trick. This unsheathed technique can be quite dangerous if not using the correct equipment so make sure you're using a tricking sword because safety is important. And to make it easy for you, I have links down below to tricking swords and a discount code for you guys if you want in the description. Next, we have the horizontal draw. This basically pulls the blade out of the scabbard so fast that the scabbard seems to levitate for a second and then fall straight down. Just like before, let's break this one down. So we have the first step, just like before, using our thumb to pop open the seal of the sword to let it slide out. Then you're going to take our hand and pull straight horizontally out, making sure to keep it horizontal and not pull back until the sword actually leaves the sheath completely, and then using our opposite hand to catch, just like you see me do here. Now you can obviously just regularly catch this, or my favorite variation is catching the scabbard behind your back. The only real difference in this variation is making your hand turn palm up and rotating as you pull the sword out like you see me do in this video right here. And lastly, we have the double unsheath. Double sword is a straight flex, honestly. And if we're going with the rule of cool, I had to add at least one of a double sword variation. I call this one the X out. It's very similar to the horizontal draw, but with two swords instead of one. Because what's cooler than one sword? Hitting the subscribe button. I mean, yes, two swords is cooler, but also hitting the subscribe button. Just like the previous ones, you're gonna wanna release the seal with your thumb and then pull horizontally backwards as quickly as you can in sync to allow the, the sheaths of the sword to fall directly to the ground. And if you think me dropping my sheaths on the ground was, you know, me being a heathen, then what do you think would happen? You clicked on the tricking video. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed these three different types of extreme and creative unsheathed techniques. If you want to learn more, just let me know by dropping a comment down below or liking the video. But that's all I have for today. So until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about my tricking sword review or this tutorial for the epic katana move. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.